Hey everybody, it's Professor Hall, and this brief tutorial covers the policy for discussion boards. There are not very many discussion boards included in this course, and that makes each one of them very important. I think it is critical that students interact with one another as you would in a face-to-face -face classroom. And so I know that I have been in online situations before where they want you to go in and post something and I have wanted to just go in there and fly something and post it because I'm busy. I am busy. And I resist that temptation because there's another person on the other side of that post. And I want to give them my honest feedback in a polite way and invite that person to give feedback to me because this is a person that I'm dealing with. And I think it is insulting to people when a post opens and it closes two weeks later and at the 11th hour, one minute before the posting is due, somebody just flies in there and posts some kind of content. Like, I really like this. That is insulting to the person that's receiving that response. So, when you go into the discussion boards, you will see a timeline for posting. Please make sure that you stay true to that and that you are polite and still constructive with your fellow students. And keep in mind that all discussion boards are the property of the district. And that said, I think the most wonderful thing is that in all of these years of teaching these courses, I have never once had to report a student for a discussion board post. Isn't that fantastic? I've had so many students and they've all been wonderful. Remember discussion boards are the peer section of the course. I monitor the discussion boards, but I expect students to communicate with one another through those boards, and that is where credit is given. Be sure to check due dates, posting dates, and most of all, enjoy the discussion boards. Keep it light and polite and yet constructive. That concludes this tutorial on discussion board policies.